Aru. Aru, Aru. Aru, Aru, Aru. But Aru doesn't know that Lloyd is actually 10 years old. She's probably one of the best girls so far. She is so wholesome. She tried to protect Lloyd. She has, she was single because she'd been only doing martial arts. And even when the lich was like shitting on her, Lloyd came back and proved that, you know, martial arts is great. I loved martial arts aspect too, right? The whole breathing techniques and the crazy like key beam blast. That's right up my alley. Not sure when we're going to see her next because we kind of just departed. The next time we meet, she's probably not even going to recognize Lloyd or I don't know. Something fun's going to happen. I believe we ended last episode with a bunch of magic enchants on a bunch of weapons and new arc now. Let's begin today's episode. We're getting a puppy today? Uh, is that a CGI? Is, is that a CGI horse carriage? It looks like the carriage is like pasted in there, but the horse isn't. This is like hybrid CGI. Hey, Horu might be living in here. We're going somewhere? Some kind of forest. Evil forest? Hmm? Headed out for a monster hunt to try out the new swords? It's like a little field trip for us. <laughs> yeah, Sylph is a super short con. My bad. I've been calling that dude Robert the entire time. His name is Albert. Robert is the alias of Lloyd to Aru Aru. Yes, that's the one. Yes. That's close. Albert, Robert, Bert, you know? It's way more. Her devotion. Special feelings for a 10 year old boy? <laughs> so don't hurt them, please. They look kind of cute. They look fun. I don't know. I can't take this cobalt seriously. Come on. Silpa's already gone. What the fuck? Fuck, dude, martial arts is broken. So, key breathing basically can sense everything. It's like a radar. And that's a basic technique, too. It's impossible to get a quick one on him. No! It looks so cute! Look at the little green headband! Come on! Oh, even the knight looks shocked. Because the sword was enchanted, and this is the first time using it, right? It's like, damn, that was clean. Even the horse is like, what the fuck? <laughs> a pretty good big brother. He's very proud of his little bro. <laughs> Aru! Already? Aru Aru already? <laughs> I sense the hottie. Wait. Uh, I feel like her and Albert, they might get along well. There's no way she would recognize Lloyd. Tao Aru. Aru Aru. Ooh, I don't know you. Yo, don't know you. Uh -huh. The face does look identical. Oh shit, Silpha. Don't get too close. <laughs> oh shit. Who would win? Silpha or Aru? I feel like Silpha would win. I don't know. Silpha was doing really well in the sparring session against Lloyd in the beginning of the episodes, even though Lloyd was pretty much going easy on her and she couldn't really tell that he was using four different magic, but she still kept up pretty well. Uh, Aru Aru Sofa, I think Sofa's gonna win. <laughs> Tao's not gonna thirst over Albert? Albert's kinda like the, the haughty type that. Do I want to know? I don't know. <laughs> okay, there it is, there it is. There it is. Uh, uh, Aru, how old is she? She's like 18, right? She's like, she's like of age, right? I, I think Aru Aru is legal. Albert though, Albert though, Albert. He's like a big bro, but he could be like 14. 
Anyways, the key breathing detects hot guys. Whoa! I didn't even know what the fuck was hitting us right there for a second. I was like, what the f Straight up, just a giant ball sack. It's just the, the sofa just teabagging him. What is the opposite of teabagging? Right? If teabagging is the act of dropping your ball sacks on somebody, then you would simply reverse the T and it'd be like a... But there's no letter for a backwards, upside down. Holy shit! Yeah, pardon me indeed. I got no complaints. You are! Mm, that's right, she has to be here naked too. Mm -hmm. uh, today's thumbnail will probably be just me screenshotting this and putting my default face on here. Yes, that's what my face, that's what the thumbnail of today's video is going to be, yes. She can't. Oh, so far. Oh. <laughs> Even the knights are like, whoa, so far. Eh! Dude, those soldiers are blushing through their helmets. Bro, isn't at all interested in girls, huh? Like, he what before he got reincarnated, he was like a researcher. He's never really been down bad ever, huh? Just straight up never been down bad. But good point. Didn't hit puberty. 10-year-old kid. This is weird. So let's stop talking about the desires of a 10-year-old kid. But I guess that kind of makes sense, yeah? The Sigma grind set. You're right. We're ignoring the girls, bro. Looking for hot guys. A woman looks at a man. What do you mean? Wait, is Albert hinting something? Is he just scared of, you know, Silpha and Aru Aru right now? Or is Albert hinting at something that happened in the past? What, what is this? Why is he shaken? What happened, bro? <laughs> what? For cheering you on? Oh, come on! Right over there, right? Old shrine? There's a shrine up there. Yeah. I mean, Lloyd can also do the same thing, but anyways. Uh, some kind of fox. Jesus, Silpha. Oh my god. What are we doing? Enchanting. Okay. Chibi intermission time, we're enchanting. Spellbound. Cast spells? A spell put into a sword? Is this also magic? I didn't know bro was Mugiwara Luffy. Enchanting a spellbound sword is causing these random boom. Hey, it worked! Therefore... In actual story, Albert's sword has been enchanted and we should be aware of this? This fucking show keeps doing this because like the intermission, th that kind of stuff usually happens at the end and that felt like the ending. It, i gotten tricked by this like twice. But <laughs> you gonna button up that shirt? You don't have to. <laughs> Grib looks pretty bored. Beam! Cameraman! Armpits now, cameraman! It's got the enchant, right? There it is! It's the enchanted spellbound sword. Let's see how strong Albert is. Oh, oh shit, it's glowing. What the fuck is he doing right now? The sword is behind him! Spell! Bound sword! He seems to be like a. It's, it's like the sword is like a wand for him or something, right? Because I expected him to swing the sword, but it's like, nah. The sword is behind him, and he's casting magic through it? <laughs> that ended really quick. That, that drop there for the soundtrack, though. 
さすがエンチェンツ He's so humble too. Albert is so humble. All Chris Lloyd too. Hmm. Aru, was that it? Simple fist bump and you're going, oh. She's cheating on us. She's cheating on us, guys. Okay, there's a demon up there. Hold up. <laughs> Alright, it's time for Lloyd to step in. Oh! This looks less scary and more funny now. I don't know. He came out of the. Hello, I'm Pazuzu. Yo, what that lip do? Look at that mouth, bro. Bro got DSL looking like an anteater. His voice changed again. The fuck? Yo, do we have any like holy magic? Or just use magic that doesn't even allow them to regenerate. But Lloyd is like trying to keep down low, right? He can't pop off right now because everyone's around. <laughs> We gotta go to the shrine. Couldn't Lloyd like do like a long range attack to the shrine? Just like a little quick little hollow purple. And then the shrine goes boom and then whatever is there is done. Therefore it's done here. I'm not sure. Cause like Grim was talking about how there's something at the shrine. But the demon is right over here. So if Pazuzu has released and he's already here, then there's no point attacking the shrine. <laughs> Is he straight up a baboon? He is, right? Like, this is an actual monkey demon, right? How do we override that? Could we, like, override Pazuzu's control with our own mana? I think he's about to do it. So we're gonna override his mana with ours. Tofu's getting dressed. <laughs> kind of true. We are carried by the enchanted weapon. <laughs> yo, yo, I think Sofa's about to pop off. But look at, you know, Grim and Lloyd over here. Just a little chibi mode. Oh, yo, they just insulted. They just insulted Lloyd in front of Sofa. <laughs> Diaper baby and his sitter? Yo, she's gonna put the demon baboon in her diaper. This aura! <laughs> yes! Maybe Sulfa will actually resolve this. And by the time Lloyd even learns the transmutation, it's over. Okay, the demon's voice acting is pretty good. Shag carpet? Oh, yo, she's talking shit. Simeon idiot's breath? Is she being racist right now? Then again, maybe it's a simian idiot's breath inside of it. That is the real problem, bro. Holy shit. Never explain your powers. Nah, bait, 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 bait. Nah. <laughs> She's still going back to your breath stinks. Yo, it's the fucking electronic soundtrack again. That's his feet. That's his feet. He oh! I was like, wait. She attacked. He attacked, and there was like a pool of blood. But I'm like, where the fuck did that come from? It's because she cut the feet off already. Come out and play! It can regen though, yeah? Because we had to use mana for that regeneration, the other monsters are getting less mana transmutation, therefore losing control! Yes, they're diverting the flow of mana. Yes! But whatever. 
And Lloyd and Grim are just doing a little crash course on transmutation. Oh, a star is forming. But Lloyd is the main character. He probably already figured it out. Of course he did. Even a scent? Come on, Grim. <laughs> We're totally just fucking around while everyone's fighting for their lives. The enchanted sword. Because she's been fighting with a nerf sword so far. Uh oh. Ooh. She's getting really horny with the sword too. Even the position of the sword with her ass is just kind of alluding that she wants to do a certain something with it anyways. Yes. <laughs> Focus Sofa! <laughs> this is just gonna make her so much more mad. <laughs> Underground sax of me sounds sus. No, no, no. Too quick, too quick. <laughs> 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 She's inside! <laughs> Alright, get your ass out of here! Oh! Wait, it's not over yet, it's not over yet, it's not over yet! Let's go! Need techniques! Found it! Found it! I was waiting for the moment because so far she was flipping around and no asses and shots. So I was like, what are they doing? What are they saving for? Woo! It's not over? Yeah. Yeah. I you're definitely exposed right now. I see it. Yeah, I, I they're fucking with us, right? They're fucking with us with the dialogue, right? There's no shot, she just says you're exposed. Yeah, even Nikaru is like, even Grim looks shocked. What? What is this? He's in the transmute. Memorize. I don't really understand the whole part of the transmute thing. I'm sure they'll explain it later, but it looks like he can make it like a little mini sofa. Dude. The way that she's walking right now reminds me of, uh, ah, uh, it's a certain style. Uh, 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 fake grand order, Musashi. Do you know what I'm talking about? Pretty random reference. Maybe you guys would know if you actually play FGO, but the way that the Nitori style, she always was holding it one down like this. <laughs> the hell? Finish him! Why would they do that to us? Why? Why? Why are you why would you cliffhanger us there? What 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 is the purpose of this cliffhanger? Because maybe next episode. He's actually not going to go down this easily. And then Lloyd will show up with the transmute powers is what I am guessing. Another fun peak episode of Dai Nana Oji. So basically going to the forest, trying out, you know, our new swords. Eventually met Aru Aru because Aru Aru is smelling. <laughs> Sniffing the hot guys, but this time she's kind of cheating on us with Albert. Not that, you know, we could ever date Aru because we're 10 years old. Anyways, Aru and Albert might be his thing, but Silfa, goddamn, today's episode is definitely Silfa, right? The MVP of today's episode is Silfa. Silfa fan service is fucking crazy. I've never seen so much it's just sacks of flesh. It's, it's crazy. Like, instead of lollies, imagine every girl was like this. But that's the thing, right? You can't just please the, the MILF enjoyers, right, for the market. You need to cover all bases because the lollicons are a huge market. But it is what it is. At least we got representation on all sides. Sofa looks fucking sick. The dual wielding bow, Nitoryu, the name techniques, amazing. Flashing her panties under the crescent moonlight, amazing. And left the cliffhanger. Why? Because I'm expecting next episode for us to actually use whatever this transfer magic is. But that's it from me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.